Well guys, just another day on the farm. So, I don't know how good the quality is going to be of this, but we had a semi loaded in the field and it was a little bit wet. It was raining. Now you guys can see me a little bit. Um, tried pulling out my pickup, got about halfway out, brought a tractor over, and uh, it kind of just slid in the ditch. So that's kind of where we're at. We got the wrecker here. This truck's got about 60,000 pounds of beans or corn on, so it's not going super well. see kind of just slid down there's the tractor we tried to pull it out broke about two chains getting out see that dolly right there is kind of what stopped it yeah not very good the good thing is though no one was hurt so i don't know what the rest of this video is going to be but <laughs> i figured i'd let you guys know what's going on good times Honestly, I don't even know what else to say, but it's been an eventful night. I'll just put it that way. I just want to say, if I had a three-quarter ton pickup instead of a half ton, I maybe could have gotten it out. Like, we, I probably pulled it 20 feet or so with the pickup. A neighbor brought his little less than 100 horsepower tracker, and it was just bouncing up and down like crazy. Broke a chain doing that. We're luckily no one got hurt doing that. And then we brought the wheel tractor, pulled it all the way out, but as soon as that dolly got stuck in the mud, I mean the chain snapped and it wasn't going anywhere, but we got the wrecker here now from Whittemore Truck. So Garf, if you're watching this, thanks for coming out. It's not super late, it's like 7.30, but oh man. The best part is it just rained like we can't combine anymore because it rained so much. So we were just quitting, but man. Looking back now, we talked about just waiting till the morning to get it out when it was bright outside. And we can see, but as you guys can probably tell, we didn't do that. You know, the quality of these videos is probably pretty bad, but no one got hurt. It's not, not too bad yet. The corn's still in the trailer. We thought about bringing a vac over to empty out the trailer or get it a little bit lighter because it's, I mean, it's a pretty full trailer. We're kind of worried right now that the sidewalls might just give out once we start sliding it back up. I think the plan is like right here is what I'm talking about those rivets and stuff. That's a lot of weight on that. We're kind of hoping so when we pull this back up, we're going to slide it back up towards the wrecker there. We're just hoping that it doesn't bust out this side. That could be, it'd make a bad night even worse. So it's all hooked up now. We're just hooking up the wrecker to hopefully, hopefully try and get this out first try. But I suppose keep watching, you'll find out.
So right now we're kind of running into the issue. We don't have enough weight on the wrecker since there's probably 60, 65,000 pounds of corn on that truck. It's a little bit heavy. So we're gonna bring that tractor back around that we used to pull it. Well, in the situation that we're in, uh, attach it to the front of the wrecker, give it some more weight to keep it down. Hopefully, uh, hopefully get this trailer out. It's not good. It's not good at all. I think the chain broke that was connected to the trailer, the bottom one. Things are getting a little bit interesting here. I mean, that, that lip, that ditch that it's caught on, is just really, I mean, it's a really steep. That's on it, I mean, that's why it fell down there. I mean, it got on the slope, slid right down. That much weight. I mean, when the, the tractor was pulling with that chain, that chain was dictating where it was going. And both sides of this ditch are really steep. So, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing we really could have done besides, I mean, waited a week before it got dry. And I don't even know if it would have been dry enough then. Cause like the ruts out in the field, I'll show you guys quick. This, these are the ruts we pulled it out. I don't know if the camera will do it really justice, but you can kind of see the angle we were going at. It's a, not a super wide drive, but once it got, it started out straight, but once that tractor was faced, you know, straight that way, once it was faced straight this way, it was just pulling it straight sideways. So that kind of, it didn't stay the course. If we would have been able to get traction like right there where my flashlight is, it maybe would have worked, but as you guys can see, it did not work. Honestly, I'm just trying to not get super upset because accidents happen on the farm i mean this won't be the it's not the first time won't be the last so you kind of just got to make sure i mean you got to be happy when no one gets hurt no one got hurt we'll get it out it could always be worse I mean, we'll get rid of a lot of weight from here on the back. So now we're gonna try, well, it's probably gonna help. I don't think it's gonna do anything bad. We're gonna open up that back trap on the truck, try to let out a little bit of weight. I mean, I don't know how much weight it's gonna let out. There's not a big gap. I'll walk up and show you guys, but there we do have a back over in Emmicksburg we could go grab in the daylight. So, I mean, it's not, it's not great to leave your corn on the ground, but it's either that or leave a full truck of corn in the ditch. So, pick your poison at that point. I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to get out of there, Dad. What's that? There's not a whole lot of room underneath there. There goes your Christmas present. But now when he picks up on it, you won't run out. Yeah, I mean, it'll come out more, hopefully. So like now when we pick up on it, it should gradually empty out more and more corn, make it lighter and lighter, and eventually get this truck out of the ditch and go home. It's getting kind of cold. And you may be thinking, Thomas, why don't you just put on a coat? Well, when we were trying to get it out with the tractor, I had my coat on, but it was downpouring, and now it's drenched, and I'm drenched, and everything sucks, and it's cold. And now it's nine o'clock at night. We've been here for two hours, trying to get this truck out. We're not even combining corn, which we maybe could be right now since it's not raining, but we're not because everyone went home to go to bed. But it could always be worse. It can always be worse. So right now they are cleaning up that thing they broke. 
well, I guess the wrecker broke. Um, gonna put a new thing under the bottom, lift it up hopefully. I think they're gonna have to pick it up and I mean, obviously pull it that way. Another thing would be if we just pulled it, you know, back and over. There's a culvert right there we don't want to mess up. I don't know, it's just kind of a weird, I'm just speculating because I have no idea really how to do this correctly. If I did, we probably wouldn't be in the situation. But I think we're gonna get it out. I mean, just a matter of, matter of time. I, I think this probably isn't gonna become a permanent landmark in the Iowa, Iowa scenery, so. He broke that cable, I think. That cable right there, I think that's what he broke. It's a pretty heavy truck. Maybe if the corn didn't do so good, we wouldn't have so much corn and we wouldn't be in this problem. That's what we call a first world problem, ladies and gentlemen, is having too good of corn. Going in for attempt number two. Well, five. Guys, my pickup was one, the neighbor's tractor was two, other tractor was three. First time with this was four. So fifth time's a charm, right? Looks like they're gonna shovel some of that dirt away from the wheels there. We're making progress. I'm sorry if I just keep showing the same clip over and over pretty much of us trying to slowly pull it. I mean, we have moved it a little bit. It's not much. I think once we get it over that lip, I mean, it should come right out. I'm just, we're all kind of hoping it doesn't just tear the, the tires just drag and just eventually just break it. That'd be really bad. I mean, it's already bad enough. The trailer gets broke too, it's, it's much worse. That back trap's already open. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we opened the back trap already. There. Hopefully it doesn't keep digging into the dish like that. It's going to drag the whole thing off. That time I moved it quite a bit. Well, there you guys go. That time I moved it quite a bit, but you can see that dirt bunching up right there. We're going to dig that out again. Hopefully make the final push. As you guys can see, scooped a little bit more corn out of there. Hopefully, don't have to waste more corn than that. But hopefully it's a little bit lighter now. You guys can see that truck was on the road. It's just that angle is way too steep. There's that culvert I was talking about. Don't want to smash that. I mean, that's not our biggest concern at the moment, but everything seems to be fine um, on the integrity of the trailer thus far. Hopefully it stays that way. I think we'll know a lot more once we once we get it out of there, but I think we almost got her. Alright, not to jinx it. I think one more time. Huh? You think he can't drive forward? What? Well, no, really, he can't drive forward. <laughs> Sam said he can't drive forward. I think he's right. There's your paycheck, Sam. All right, me and Sam went back to the farm to get the telehandler with the bucket to smooth out the road after we're done completely tearing it up. I don't know if they have the truck out yet, but we're headed back there. I suppose you guys will find out when I find out. Hopefully they have it out. Honestly, I don't even care about the, the, the videos. 
I just want that truck to be out so I can go home and go to bed and see my wife. I'm being completely honest with you. It would appear as if the truck is not out yet. I stand corrected. It looks really close to that though. I think they're gonna pull this, get the Rucker Schrader, get the final push, pull, whatever, get her out of there. Thankfully I didn't hit my pickup back there. That would have been really fun. There's definitely uh, bigger issues though. So right now we're moving the wrecker back into position. We're gonna try to pull this back. We do have the tractor up there hooked up to the front. Hopefully we can get it over enough and just pull it out of there, get her done. Hopefully this is the last time that I have to say this is the last time we're going to try. This is getting a bit ridiculous, but we're going to get it out. I mean, there's no question about it. This thing is coming out of the ditch. We're not leaving the truck in here. It's blocking the entire road. It'll come out eventually. This trailer does have some structural damage to it. It looks like on the side. Uh, we haven't had a good look at the fifth wheel and all that stuff up front. There's a lot of pressure on the be the passenger side not the drive wheels um whatever whatever yeah the drive wheels um hopefully those are fine i think this trailer is probably gonna have to get uh not be part of the operation anymore but we'll see we'll see how it goes it's been a fun night so far also jason wood if you're watching this um this field has some encroachment right there so probably when I come with the ripper, I'll uh, knock out that so we don't have the weeds and the grass encroaching on the field. I just figured I'd give you a quick shout out for that, making sure that you uh, know that the encroachment on the field will be taken care of for you. You know guys, everything looks completely normal up to like right there. Like just a typical farm night, tractor on the road, semi on the road, and then uh, it's only that that doesn't look like normal. Otherwise, everything else looks great, right? Got the combine in the field. Everything besides that is normal. So I think the plan is to get that pulling backwards, the truck going forward, the wrecker pulling sideways. Hopefully, that's what we're gonna do. Well, here we go. A little bit of movement. Come on. up there. No, I'll... That's my bonus. That's my bonus right there. <laughs> Any more? <laughs> you gotta cancel that. Hey! Hey! You can just pull it up. Finally, after three hours of this debacle of trying to get this stupid truck out of the field we're finally going to be done hopefully and i'm calling it right now they're going to pull two miles down the road to the intersection turn and the truck's just going to slide directly into that ditch and we're going to be back to back to where we started maybe that's negative thinking but anyway just repositioning the strap at the moment well, it might hurt. Also, I really hope the quality of this video, like the the microphone isn't awful because otherwise I've been just standing here talking to myself and I probably look like an idiot. Anyway. Sample's pretty clean at least. Is 
So here's the, the ruts that it was stuck in. Obviously down there is where it came through. So if I can give you guys a better view of this, better perspective. Yeah, those are pretty big ruts. We had to dig out that, shovel out dirt to get to come this way a little bit more, but I think we got her boys. Hooray. Finally got her out guys. Finally got it out. That's a good feeling. All right, so walking around, obviously, the tires are all caked in mud, but I mean, the lights broke, not a big deal. No really crimps on this side, which is good. Um, this side has a little boo-boo, but I mean, that's, could have been way worse, obviously the mud. We don't know yet how all that stuff underneath there looks. Wait for the camera to focus. I, hopefully it's fine. Uh, another thing we're kind of worried about is this dolly down here uh, stuck down first. So all that weight, you can see the flashlights pointing, that mud flaps push down quite a bit. Hopefully that's the only thing bad over there. Um, the fifth wheel sounds fine. That sounds fine, what the heck? Uh, looked fine. We'll probably look this over really good in the shop, but we got it out. That's all that matters. Good morning, guys. We're having more issues. Seems like they mostly got this one out, but as you guys can probably tell, this place is really muddy. And it really shows no signs of drying out anytime soon. And we gotta keep going. There's places we can just keep harvesting. So this had to come out. Sadly, the grain cart was full, which we learned last night. When something's full, it doesn't help. But uh, yeah, we're gonna call it a video before anything else bad happens. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. I'm sure you enjoyed it more than I did. But uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We'll try to keep getting some videos out for you guys. And uh, until then, catch you in the next one.